again with yet another freaking video. And I'm already knowing why y'all here. Y'all just want to see the kitchen. Y'all don't care about nothing I'm finna talk about. Y'all just want to see this kitchen. So I'm not going to even hold y'all. I'm not going to do a whole bunch of talking. Not in the beginning at least. I'll do some talking as we're walking through the kitchen. You know, giving you a little tour. We are not 100% complete. We're more like, mm, I want to say like 98%. So there's a few little knickknacks that we still need to do. I'm not sure when that's going to get done uh, because I'm kind of sick of the kitchen right now. And I really don't feel like doing anything else in there. But it's going to get done. It's just not going to get done today. And since I don't want y'all to continue to wait until I do a video showing y'all, I just decided, okay, since most of it is done, I'll just go ahead and give them a glimpse of what the kitchen is looking like now. So... We're going to do like just a little walkthrough first and then I'll come back and I'll do a tour and just kind of break down things that we did in the kitchen, things that I like about the kitchen, things that I want to change about the kitchen. And also, I have not even started to think about decorating the kitchen. I don't even know how I want to decorate the kitchen. I'm not really sure. If y'all have any suggestions, go ahead and drop them in the comment section because I am always open for suggestions because... I'm not an interior decorator. I'm just going to put it out there. I'm just not. Um, I do my best, but I'm not an interior decorator. So I am always open to any suggestions any of you may have. But enough of me talking. Let's get into this video because I know y'all just waiting to see this damn kitchen. Ashback. I would just hire somebody to take that out. I wouldn't even try to take it off myself. This is perfect. I would renovate your current house. So right. This, this honestly would probably be uh, change out the the countertops. I will do granite countertops. Change all the appliances out. Uh, yep. It's dirty though. Oh, yeah. oh. Ooh, mm. it's moldy. Nothing Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I would definitely replace my refrigerator. <laughs> End of flashback. get questions about these lights so i am going to link these lights in my amazon store um also i will link where i got these pictures um printed out they are you know little canvas pictures i will link that onto my light to know it page so just go into um the description and i'll have those links so we did these two pictures but we also was going to do a picture right here but the picture didn't come in time enough those came so i don't know why the last one didn't come so we're going to put a picture here with a light on top of that one y'all seen a quick little video that i did of the butler's pantry well the butler slash coffee slash wine pantry i showed y'all my wines um i did a tiktok so if you haven't seen that video go to tiktok so you can see that this is like where i make my coffee and stuff at um i got i keep my protein shakes in here um i got mugs wine glasses some other like energy drink stuff um and then we got alcohol down there yeah so that's the butler's pantry that picture came in time but i don't know why that last picture didn't come i don't know what that was all about so i will link all of this stuff in either my amazon page or my like to know it page um it just depends so as far as the kitchen is concerned 
When I say I love, 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 love how it turned out, these are the light fixtures we ended up getting. I will link those in my Light to Know It page because I got these from Wayfair. I got that one from Wayfair as well. It actually didn't even take long for me to get them. And me and the fun police literally put that up there together. On a two-story scaffold, we put that up there. And it, it wouldn't have taken us that long, but it did take us long because we couldn't figure out why it wouldn't work. Like, it wouldn't cut on. It ended up being some shit that we were doing wrong. But I read the reviews on Wayfair that this light was horrible to put together. And I actually think I need to twist it around a little bit. I might climb up there and twist it around a little bit here in a second. But they said it was difficult to put together. If you have just a little bit of common sense... It's really not that difficult. Like, it literally took me 10 minutes to put this together. But when I read the reviews, I thought I was never going to be able to put it together. So, love, love, love the lights. Yes, we painted all of these walls. We painted the ceiling, the fun police and I. Um, microwave. This is not the microwave <laughs> that is going to be there. The microwave that we ordered won't come in for another couple of weeks. It's on back order. So, that is not the microwave that will be there. It will be a pull out like a micro you know one of those microwaves that look like that like works like a drawer yeah I know what I'm trying to say um this cabinet we have to put a little piece right here um the reason why the piece is not on here right now is because when we tried to do it it fell back there so we had to go buy a whole new piece and we just haven't installed it yet and then we have a trim kit that has to go around the um the oven so we still have to do that. Um, these handles, I will link them in Like to Know It or Amazon. I think I got these from Amazon. So I might have them linked in Amazon or I might have them linked in both. Who knows? I don't know, y'all. Um, so I did install all of these handles myself. Y'all probably seen another video that I did of me installing these handles. Um, what else did I want to go over? These rugs, I absolutely, absolutely uh, love. I will have those linked as well. The one thing that I would change is this rug. So this rug was not big enough, but I needed a rug before Thanksgiving, so I just went with it. Um, but I really like it. The um, biggest that it comes in is an eight by 10. This is a five by seven. I feel like an eight by 10 will be like super huge, but this is small. You see how the legs of that chair and the legs of that chair is hanging off of it. The only other solution I have is instead of putting four chairs going around the table, maybe doing two chairs on this side and two chairs on that side to make it where it don't look too bad. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do about the rug yet. I don't know. I like the the runners match this, so I would love for them to continue to match, but this not gonna work because it's too small. So I gotta figure something out about that. We have two trash cans because we just accumulate too, too much trash. Um, the refrigerator, we got, I will link this also. This is a Fisher and Pikel. I'm not gonna even open it because I'm not gonna embarrass myself right now. It's not horrible in there. You see, it's not horrible. It's just not up to the standards of me doing a whole refrigerator tour. Maybe one day. If y'all want a refrigerator tour one day, maybe. But um, what else am I missing? The drapes, absolutely love. They are like a crushed velvet. I do want to put some, some blinds, not blinds. I did want to put blinds on the wall, I mean on the windows. But I think I want to do some shades, some like power, like you know the shades that come with the remote control and I can like let them up and down automatic, automatically. I think that's what I want to do on those. Um, and then this big ass window, y'all see those boxes, all those squares. So it used to be like, I don't know what it's called, but they were like, uh, what is it? It was something on the window. Basically they was on all the windows in the house and we took them off and I just need to clean it and I'm not cleaning it right now. So it is what it is. But this big ass window right here. I don't know what to do with this thing. And it wouldn't be so bad if that wasn't my neighbor's house right there. Like. Every time I'm over there uh, dealing with the sink, I'm looking right at the side of my neighbor's house. And I don't want to be looking at my neighbor's house. So, I don't know. I don't know what I should put here. I don't want to tint it because I like the natural lighting that comes in from this window. So, I don't want to put tint on it. Yeah, I, I just don't know what to do with that window. 
Um, what else am I missing? Uh, so then the sitting area, um, not much here, but a dog. He, he in trouble, y'all. He, he should have got a whooping because he peed on the floor like we wasn't opening the door to let him out. He act like he couldn't hold it and just going to pee on the floor. Yep, I'm telling them what you did. I am telling them what you did. Mm-hmm. So anyway, this rug, I really don't care for. I kind of want to put this rug over here and then get a bigger rug for right there. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is about this rug that I'm really not feeling. The fun police liked this rug. So that's why it is here. Also, the the coffee table and the kitchen table, they match. They are, and they're both marble. Heavy as shit. Like, this thing is, it took a lot for us to even move it onto this rug. That's how heavy it was. Um, but they match. Um, Y'all see our little tin man, tin man right there. We didn't had him since we moved in our old house and he just been traveling along with us. We finally got the TV up. Um, again, I have not even began to decorate or to think about how I want to decorate in here. I don't know. I did want to do gold, but then this light, y'all, this video does not give this light justice. How huge. Like, I'm looking at it on the screen as I'm recording, and it looks so much smaller than what it really is in person. Like, I really wish y'all can see how big this damn light is in person. But I tried to order the gold and black, but it was out of stock. And I needed a light that, like yesterday. So I had to go with the silver. And then that's why I went with black over there. But, and then since I went with silver this, and then we have all stainless steel appliances, I end up going with like silver on everything else. So I don't know. Can I still put gold in here, y'all? No, yes. What y'all think? What y'all think? So yeah, I don't know how I want to decorate in here. Um, the space is huge and that's kind of what I love about this house because I didn't want to make it, you know, feel like we was living on top of each other, that we all can gather in the kitchen because we're in the kitchen most of the time. We can all come in here gather and not feel like we are stepping on top of each other. It's basically, that's where Bentley's little bowl is. This little area, I'm not sure what's going on right here i i don't we just got the trash cans over there yes the living room is still not complete that up there is from when we had it was a mirror up there and that's like the glue and stuff from the mirror so we have to like i think they said they was going to tear that out and put some more drywall there and then we're going to do something with this fireplace right there but these ceilings are so freaking high that we cannot find anyone to paint in here i love these windows though so that's why it still looks a mess in here because we still got like our my living room furniture and some other little knickknacks that is the scaffold so this is what we used on the ceilings in the kitchen just think about this with a whole nother one stacked on top of it and that's what me and the fun police was on trying to put that light fixture up if we end up painting this, these walls ourselves, we are going to have to stack. We're going to have to use this one and then stack two more on top of it. We got to paint the um, ceilings and everything. So I was trying to leave this part out of the video and it just kept sneaking in because it's kind of hard to miss it. Um, but that is the, the things I wanted to point out in the kitchen. I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't know what I'm missing, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, we are going to go ahead, well, we, I, because I'm the one that's doing this video. I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, right now, because I showed y'all what it was that y'all was coming to see, and it was this dang on kitchen that stressed the hell out of me. I thought this kitchen was going to be the death of me at times. Um, so I hope y'all love it just as much as I do. If you have any uh, suggestions on how I should decorate this daggone room or kitchen or place, whatever you want to call it, leave it in the comment area. But as always, y'all already know the drill. Until next time.